Understanding Drink Service In this lesson, we'll take a look at the flow of drink service and how it fits in with the dining experience. The service of drinks is a vital part of delivering stellar service. As much as guests will visit your establishment for delicious dishes, they are also there to enjoy the flavors offered by the drinks, the gentle bubbles in the champagne, the tangy sweetness of a cocktail, or the complex tastes of good wine. To ensure this, you must see to it that the guests are never left thirsty, or have to ask you for a top-up or refill. You must be observant of the guest's behavior and keep an eye on each guest's glass. The sequence discussed here isn't set in stone, and obviously guests will order an array of different drinks at different times. But similar to a menu sequence, this list is a guideline as to how guests commonly enjoy different types of drinks. We'll be looking at water service, aperitifs, wine, and digestives. Let's start with water service. The most regular drink service that you will deliver during the dining experience is the service of water, whether still, sparkling, or tap water. Water service is often the first service delivered to guests, and by offering the guest water immediately, they will feel welcome and looked after. Providing water service throughout service will ensure that guests always have something to drink. Now let's move on to aperitifs. An aperitif is the name for a pre-meal drink that stimulates the guest's appetite for the meal ahead. Common examples include champagne, martinis and gin and tonics. An aperitif is usually served before the meal, as the guest arrives, and must be offered to the guest within two minutes. Let's move on to wine. Wine is an infinitely complex product. Both white and red wines contain a multitude of layered flavors that differ from wine to wine and over time. Because it is such an intricate product, it is often enjoyed with food. The flavors in the wine bring out and change the flavors in the dish, and vice versa. The taste of the food complements the flavors in the wine. Similarly, lighter wines, such as crisp white wines, are often paired with lighter meals, such as fish, chicken, or salad. Heavier dishes, such as red meat dishes, are paired with bolder, heavier wines, such as aged red wines. This means that throughout a meal with multiple courses, white wines are usually served with the lighter meals, earlier in the menu. Guests will then move on to wines with stronger flavors, the red wines. Lastly, let's finish off with digestives. A digestif is an after-meal drink, which is meant to help with digestion. Some popular examples of digestifs include brandy, whiskey, creamy liqueurs, or port. Drinks such as these provide a beautiful ending to round off a beautiful meal and complement dessert. So, the four categories of drinks we looked at in this lesson are water, aperitifs, wine, and digestifs. In the rest of the course, we'll be looking at some of these points in greater detail, but well done on getting a better understanding of drink service overall and how it fits in with the dining experience.